So. Hustle TV is in the building, man. I'm here with the one and only K9, the boss. What's up, Pimpin? What to do, my boy? What's happening? Yo, man, it's been a long time coming, man. Um, so I didn't get back to you earlier. This COVID thing is going crazy, bro. So I had to really take care of the fam and whew, take care of business. You know what I'm saying? It's already good, man. I already know how that go all too well. Yeah, man. So what are you doing and doing during COVID right now? How's it been crazy for you? Um, really, I mean, you know, I mean, the fact that uh we gotta stay inside quarantine, you know. I mean, the only time I've had to do that was being incarcerated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that's been a minute, you feel me? I'm not yeah. built for that no more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um really, I mean, really that's it. I haven't, you know, for, I've been fortunate enough that I haven't had any uh close family members or anybody really, even in my extended family that uh have uh really um you know that have passed from it. Yeah. I've had some family members catching and whatnot, but they've gone through it. Okay. Um other than that, you know, it's actually kind of been it's actually for me, I've been using it to my advantage to work on my album clarity. Okay, okay. So how many tracks you got on your album now? It's uh I got ten songs on there. Okay, okay. Um with this with the industry shifting so fast, it's going from single deals to album deals, back to single deals, just videos. How do you keep yourself in tune with everything that's happening in the music industry? I mean, you know, I, I started off with being a fan of hip hop, mm. you know, so I just I just naturally stay in tune, you know. I, uh, in creation and creating this album, you know, I tried I try to kind of you know keep my ears away from it a little bit just so I didn't really get influenced by anybody too much. But um, right. I mean, it happens still though, you know. That's hip hop, you know. Mm-hmm. We all get influenced from from one person or multiple artists, you know what I mean? One way or another. Um, but yeah, I think it's, I just naturally love music. So I, I'm, I'm constantly listening to it. Okay. And okay. I've got, you know, I've got younger, younger family members and stuff like that that put me up on like new artists and stuff too. Right. Right. So h- how'd you meet the triple OG spice one, man? I mean, that dude's something special. He, he in the Bay knocking things out and he's still, still doing the thing, you know, with the music and everything. How'd you guys meet and, what inspired you to even reach out to him or he, did he reach out to you? Yeah. You know what? Um, we actually, we met, I did a show actually. I opened up for him at a show in Mammoth. Okay. Mammoth, California. And this was probably like, this is some years ago. And, um, I mean, you know, me, like I, I, I've always been a person to, you know, push up on people, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna holler at you. Okay. You know, uh, more, you know, just, just a little more, um, um, you know, the, 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 I I feel like the, the the part of the generation that I'm in, as far as hip hop, I'm like the last generation of that like hand to hand contact. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, not so much internet. Even though I've I've learned how to you know keep up with the times, but I still have that 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 uh, technique about me. So you know, I pushed up on him, hollered at him, and uh, he was cool. You know what I'm saying? He was like mm-hmm. a regular dude, and um, and we just happened to like after that we kept running into each other. It was either shows or yeah. You know, just just through mutual people that we know and stuff, and um, and we just developed that type of relationship. And then, you know, we had always talked about it for a long time, like doing a song, and we just never, you know, never knocked one out. Okay. But um, he actually he came down to to Santa Ana, which is my city. Yeah. That I grew up in. Uh, he actually came down there one time a couple years back, right before I signed with him and uh did a show. Mm. So he hollered at me like, "Yo, I'm coming down to your town." You know what I mean, like. Like was popping, so I'm like, okay, right. say less, easy call, nigga. I'm finna hit up a couple of my people. We finna pull up and make sure you're good. You know what I mean? Right, so right. Pulled up on them, you know, and and we, and, I mean, shit. Automatically, you know what I'm saying? Like all my homies gravitated towards him. He gravitated towards my homies. Like he was like, like he grew up in the hood with us. You know what I'm saying? Like he's <laughs> yeah. all some regular shit. Like the homies yeah. like, oh yeah, we fuck with Spice. That's a real nigga right there. He really out here in the trenches with us. Right. You know, and um, and then uh, you know, after that, we just you know, we pretty much just chopped it up and. You know, I never thought that I was going to sign with anybody. I never really uh, was looking looking to do anything like that. But it just kind of made sense with him because it was more of a partnership. He wasn't, you know, trying to really – I didn't feel like he was trying to rob me out of anything. And, and if right. anything, just trying to, uh, you know, really trying to – you know, he sees my grind and really just try to help me out, you know what I'm saying, in different avenues that, I, you know, I may have not been able to conquer on my own. Okay, okay. Um, being a student of hip-hop, um, what inspired you to start ry- rhyming? I mean – you know, hip hop is 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 so big and vast. Like you got the you got the dancing, you got the MC part of it, you got the DJ part of it, you got the producer part of it, you got the writer part of it. What inspired you to just grab the mic and start spitting on it? You know what? Early early on in my uh, 
you know, when I was younger, um, before I started rapping, like I said, I've always like been around music, you know, um, from my dad and my mom, mm-hmm. they, they really play music all fucking day, you know, like <laughs> in the car, like, especially my mom, anywhere I'm riding with her, she's playing music. There's yeah. never no quiet time in the car. So, okay. And, um, you know, so I've always been around music and uh, I knew I always wanted to be a part of it some way, somehow. I actually started off breakdancing first. Mm. So, um, yeah, I was doing a little bit of breakdancing. I actually got pretty good at it. I used to go home and like practice like every day, mm-hmm. breakdancing on this like linoleum rollout type of pad that I had that I would take down in the dining room. Right. Big ass empty dining room that my mom would let me and my homies come over and we just break dance after school. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, so that's how that started. And then it's just crazy that eventually like, you know, it went from break dancing on that tile to crib walking, <laughs> and then I t- and then and then I was like, then then I uh I, I turned it into a quote unquote studio. It wasn't really a studio though. It was a uh, I had like a karaoke machine. Actually, before the karaoke machine, I had um, you remember the boombox? Remember the uh the, the the radios? How you could uh you could play and record and record through the speaker? Yeah, onto a tape. Right. Yeah. So I so I started doing that. You know what I'm saying? So and I oh, so I, I called it a studio. I caught <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, you know what I mean? I'm like, as I say, I'm like the last piece of that era, you know what I'm saying? So I got, you know, I'm thankful that I got a taste of that, you know, but, um, you know, so I started off like that when I was really, really young. And then, um, and then from there, man, I just kind of, I just, I just, I just loved it. You know what I'm saying? Like seeing other rappers and seeing how they would, how they would play on the mic and whatnot. And I had, a, um, I actually had a, uh, a, a, one of uh, my, my older brothers, uh, really good friends. They used to have like these little, uh, these little, you know, little, uh, house parties at the house. Right. And um and they would come over there and they would just freestyle. What? Turn the ciphers, turn the battles, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. in the backyard, like just yeah. off the top of the dome though, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And I thought that was the dopest shit. You know what I'm saying? Just seeing people in a circle laughing like, oh, and you know what <laughs> I mean, I'm like, man, that shit, that shit is tight, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah. So it just it just made me, you know what I'm saying? It just like that just kind of really just inspired me to jump into it, you know what I'm saying, full fledged. And from there it's just been a, you know, I've just been getting better and better, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Man, like the the name of your album is Clarity, and why is it named that? I mean, I I, I went to your your Instagram. I said, checked you out on YouTube. I checked you out on Twitter. I went to everything you got. I went to your website. I I went to like, all the other interviews you did. I mean, they only have bits and pieces of it. I'm just looking at what's going on with you because that's what I do for a living. I I see what's going on with you and focus on you. So. Why is your album named Clarity? Explain to me why that is. That's a great title, by the way. Appreciate it. Um, you know, I, I, I mean, shit, the, the title really just came to me, but it made sense, you know what I'm saying? Because um, I was trying to find the right title that fit who I am, what I represent, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I, I really I really represent growth, mm. you know, um, I've been I've been very I've been extremely dedicated with this music for years, you know what I'm saying? And um and I've gone through like multiple trials and tribulations through life, you know, just as a young and before I even started rapping, just gang banging in the streets, mm-hmm. not thinking I'm gonna ha- not thinking I'm gonna do anything more than just that, not wanting to do anything more than just that, right. up until the point of like taking rap serious and, and really wanting to be uh respected as 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 one of the elites, you know what I'm saying, as good as one of the elites and and just really trying to perfect my craft. And um, and I, I wasn't always that good at expressing myself mm. verbally unless it was through music. Right. Um, and even through the music, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it wasn't always the most uh, uh, uplifting and positive music because it was what I was going through at the time, you know what I'm saying? Right. But right. that was a reflection of my reality. Gotcha. And, um, and, and, and now, you know, me as a grown man, you know, I've matured so much as a man and not only as a man, but as an artist. And, um, you know, the whole purpose of this album is, is really is really to bring everything full circle. OK. OK. I mean, you're doing great things with the music. Um, I, I even seen that you were helping give out toys to kids, man. I mean, what inspired that that, that situation? Yeah. You know, I, I, like me, I've, I've always been a given person. Okay. I've just always hit. I've always hit it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like and that's another thing with like, you know, going back to clarity. Like it's just I think I'm at a point now where I don't care no more. I'm not I'm not. I'm not looking to aim to please anybody anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm doing what I feel fits, what feels right. And um, so like with the toy drive, you know, me always being a caring person, I've always been a person to give, you know, mm-hmm. shut off my back, you know what I'm saying? Um, to, to my friends or whatever. Um, that right there, I felt like was a perfect opportunity to uh, actually show the human side of me. That's right. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. a lot of people, you know, 
uh, early on in my career put me in a box of just being a you know a gangster rapper. Yeah. And um, you know, and that's and that's all I was showing that I was only showing that side of me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I I didn't want to show another side of me because I it made me feel like um people would probably look at me soft. Like yeah. I was soft, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and unfortunately you you know, you know what I'm saying, growing up in, you know what I'm saying, in our type of communities, like that is, you know, kind of like looked down upon. So um but like I said, as I've gotten older, I, I, I really want to uh, tune in into uh, that, you know, focus on that that side of me and kind of really showing people like, you know, I'm human. Right. I've gone through, you know what I'm saying, shit in life. And, uh, and, you know, this is where I'm at now. That's what's up, man. I mean, you being a Santa Ana man, uh, Orange County, and then, you know, you, what was it like when you first jumped on the stage at the observatory? I mean, you I'm from Long Beach, LA area, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, hopping on stage, DJing these big concerts and being with superstars, it just, you look around like, damn, I actually made it. Now for an artist like yourself, a rapper, in your hometown, on your soil, people coming to see you, they got to go to the to, to the box to get tickets and stuff. So how do you feel when you pop, pop, pop on stage, start rocking the stage at the observatory? Man, you know, um, it's, 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 it's an adrenaline rush, bro, like, <laughs> You know, I used to have a lot of people ask me, like, before I go on stage, am I am I nervous? You know? Yeah. And it I didn't I didn't get no butterfly. I don't get butterfly. I wasn't getting butterflies and nothing like that. It was more just like um um uh uh it was just like a level of uh um um like it was just like a natural high, you know what I'm saying? Like I just mm-hmm. I really you know, it just really amped me up, it felt good, it felt right. Um, but um yeah, just growing up, you know, I mean, just growing up from Santa Ana alone, you know, it's 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 in a it's in a county that you know a lot of people kind of, you know, get get misscrewed because mm. of you know the uh, reality shows and and then you know and then and then like you said, you know, you from Long Beach, L.A., L.A. shines overshines all of that, you know, what I'm saying <laughs> like we're right next door to L.A., so it's like so we we so our our side is like it's like a little shadow outside, <laughs> that, you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> you know, and, and, and you know, so um, but with that being said, it is, we are neighbors, you know what I'm saying? So we are. I've always spent, I've always spent like so much time in LA cause you know, my family lived through LA County. Yeah. You know, I just, I just happened, my mom just happened to decide to stop in, uh, in Santa Ana and Orange County to live there. Cause I was born in St. Louis. Missouri. Okay. Okay. Whoa. But I came out here. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. We can touch on that too. But I, so I came out here when I was five years old and my mom, I don't know if she just decided to stop in Orange County cause it was close enough to the family in LA, but, yeah. but I, out of the, out of the, Cause she didn't want, you know what I'm saying? She didn't want us to be around the, you know, street life and all that, that we was around in St. Louis. Yeah. Um, but you know, I mean, one way or another, it kind of just found me, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, uh, 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 yeah, man, back to the observatory, man, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? It just, everything's worked out. That's dope. Um, I really, you know what I'm saying? One thing, one thing that I, that, that, um, one thing that can never be taken away that I, you know, that I really do, uh, um, that I'll never forget is um at the observatory. That's when I met Nipsey. Mm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I was on the same ticket. Like I got a ticket to this day with his name on it and my name on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nipsey, and, I, and I actually, yeah. And I actually was able, you know, to uh, go backstage, like in his VIP with him, chill with him, smoke with him, drink yeah. with him, you know what I'm saying? Chill, okay. chill with the whole camp, you know what I'm saying? And, and, uh, and he was solid, you know what I'm saying? He was a good dude. Um, So that's something, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm definitely proud of, but yeah, observatory, man, you know, that's, that's the spot right now. It's a spot, man, spot, because you know so many people go to observatory that have made it, and then to 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 get down to people that that is local. Even you, you could be from LA, you could be Long Beach, you could be the OC. But when you know somebody who's from the OC, that soil, yeah, I, I live I live in Fullerton, but I'm a bit observatory tonight. You want to pull up, and then going to the back gate with them, walking in with them, going upstairs with them, and doing what they do, and me doing the interviews there, and then you know somebody you know who who you see work. And that's that's a big thing to see somebody that you know has been grinding forever, like yourself, and you finally get to that point where you're on stage and you got a few hundred people or a few thousand people there upstairs and downstairs looking at you perform for six, seven minutes. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. Yeah, you know, and that's and that's and that's another thing. Like, you know, nobody has really came up out of my area and really done anything has done anything on a large scale right. musically. Okay. Um. Uh, well, as far as, you know, as far as rap music. So, um, a lot of people, I don't think a lot of people, a lot of people are used to seeing it, you know what I'm saying? No. So I think that's like another good thing, you know, like I didn't have, 
I'd have had nobody teach me none of this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I've been having to learn everything on, on my own along the way. Yeah. yeah. And it's been a very, very, very tough road. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and fortunately because of my dedication and my hunger for this, I've had people gravitate towards me from okay. everywhere else. You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, but yeah, but I didn't, I didn't grow up with like, you know, I've had, I've had a few, you know, homies in the hood that rap and stuff like that. But as far as like really, you know, on the industry level, mm. nah, not at all. Yeah. So it's, 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 a you know, for me, it's a, it's a major accomplishment. You know, um, I'm just happy to still be here to tell the story. You're damn right you are. That's good, man. I mean, now when it comes <laughs> to like our distribution, are you going through like a distro kid or some other distribution or how does that work out for you? So um, my normal, my, my deal with Spice One is it, uh, distribution through Sony, okay. the Orchard. All right. But um, this actual album I'm putting out, I'm doing it independently. Okay. And I'm going through a tune core through that for that. Okay. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. So, you know, mm -hmm. you push it out, you do videos for, and and uh, how how good are you with the, the internet marketing as far as like the Twitter stuff, or, uh, social media, Facebook, Instagram? How good do, do you do with that? Do, do, you, do you push a little bit or a lot? I'm pretty tough on social media. I, um, I make it a point to hop on there multiple times throughout the day. Okay. To repush, um, to repush everything that I'm doing, um, especially like with this album, mm -hmm. there's not going to be a time where you're not going to see it in my Instagram story. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If that shit gets at 18 hours, you're going to see me repost it again in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you're going to see that. <laughs> yeah. You ain't got no choice but to see it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know every time I post it too, it puts you at the beginning of the story. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to yeah. drop it in there again. Yeah. You know? So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm all, I'm all about that, man. It's like, it's just, uh, your presence is goes, you know, goes a goes a long way. Um, of course, you need your numbers, but your presence really, really, really. I mean, look at Nipsey. You know, what I'm saying that's why he was able to touch so many people. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying yeah. it wasn't just the numbers; it was his presence. He was everywhere. You know, um, yeah, he was everywhere. So I've kind of got a similar mentality, you okay. know. Um, 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 but as far as like uh, as far as like marketing strategies and all that, I got, for this album, I do got some plans behind this. Some, Okay. You know, some really, some really good stuff that should uh, take this album to, you know, greater levels. Okay. Now, since you said St. Louis, talk to me about St. Louis when you before you came, because I've been there too, man. It's 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 something totally different than California. It's way different. I pulled over and we was at uh, Jellystone, this is the Park, getting some gas, and I seen dudes with gold gold grills in them. I didn't know what that was when I was doing. It. I was like, what the hell's going on here? It was one, two, five, ten. Where you from? Uh, California, and they we just start chopping it up because they didn't know they never met nobody from California, and I was, I was with my family we was going to Indiana to visit some cousins relatives. We just took a drive from from Long Beach all the way to um, Indiana, and it was so beautiful over there, man. And the people were so nice. Mm -hmm. Everybody's so mm -hmm. nice. It seems to me. I mean, when I went through there, yeah. So how was it growing up in St. Louis? Well, you know, I left when I was five years old, so okay. I can't really speak too much on on. But I've been back and I've been not even just to St. Louis. I've been, I mean, shit all over the U.S., right? And I can honestly say that um, I think California, Southern California specifically, we're kind of, we're a little more antisocial. Very much so. You know, so I think, I think that's why a lot of these other areas, they're, they're more welcoming. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that they're soft, of course, right? Because a lot of these areas, man, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? But they're just, but yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, especially from being from Cali, because we, we, automatically assume you have to be how we are. You know extra what I'm saying? hard. And that's mean aggressive, mug. yeah. Aggressive, extra hard, mean mug. And like, when I first started traveling, I remember like, I went out to, I think it was like Atlanta or something. Mm -hmm. Some dude was like, looking at me and I'm like, I was about to trip on him. Like, what the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> and he looked at me and he was like, he was like, hey, how you doing? Right. <laughs> it fucked me up. I was like, oh shit. I was like, hey, what's up? <laughs> I'm going to tell you something like, like okay. We left here, we drove, because here you got to pay first, then you pump. So we, we drove from L.A. to Arizona, New Mexico. Then we, I think I forgot where I got stuck at. We got stuck there, and it said, pump first, then pay. I was like, mm. wait a minute. And the people were like, hi. I'm like, so me? Yeah, people, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, it, it did that all the way up until we got to Indiana. Then when we got to Indianapolis, you had to pay first, then pump. So I said, this, this must be the hood. 
you know what's crazy is um I think they just changed it, but I know in like uh uh, uh is it Washington or Oregon? One of the two, one 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 state you have they you have to let them pump it for you. The other state you have to pump it yourself, and they're right next to each other, right? Mm-hmm. And I remember it fucked me up because the first time I went out there, I see the I see a dude walking up on my car. I'm like, like you know, like what the fuck is walking up on my car? <laughs> and he, he go to pump, and the homie, my homie had to tell me like, nah, man, that's what they do. They pump the gas. I'm like, all right, cool. And then we literally drove over the bridge to the next state, mm-hmm. and I remember I ended up having to get gas. And I was sitting back expecting somebody to pump my gas and nobody came. I was like, man, it's just confusing as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, man. That is true. Like, it even confused me, like, even, like, shit, even, like, you know, it, it's just crazy that certain, you know, certain states, how the, how the laws are different. Like, even with traffic, I remember, uh, you know, I'm sure you've been in New York, but how you can't, you can't make a right turn on a red light. They're not. You can pull right over. And there's no sign. And, yeah, and the signs don't even say you can't. No. Nah. It took somebody from New York to tell me. Like, yo, you can't turn on this. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, and New York is a whole different. You no, know, California, yeah. yeah, yeah, California. You can turn as long as it says you, as long as it doesn't say you can't. Right, right. New, <laughs> like, have you ever performed in New York? Yeah. What, what was the vibe that, like for you? I mean, I, I I've been there performing before, and mm-hmm. they told me I couldn't play hip hop from the West Coast when I was DJing. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> no, you right, talking right. about? I've already paid, so I'm gonna do what I want. So, but no hip hop from from LA. Only New York, mm-hmm. Atlanta. So how how was your experience performing in in in, um, in New York? Actually, for me, it wasn't it wasn't uh it was good. Okay. Um, but I think a lot of it has to do with you know um the time. Mm. You know, I think the time that we're we're living more in a time now where you have you know California has influenced so many places like New York. One of the one of the places that was the most resistant right <laughs> to our culture. You know what I'm saying? So I think now a lot of a lot of people out there kind of uh, especially like my generation or even the younger generation um, has a different different level of uh, appreciation for us. Right. So right. it was it was it was it was it was good for me. OK, it was good for me. But I can see but I can see why, because I know the history. I can see why it was different for you. For me, it was in the, in the, in the late 90s. Uh, it was after oh, yeah, it yeah. was passed and pop was passed. And there was like and, and they, they lost the grasp on hip hop. Because everybody was going mm-hmm. to Atlanta. So Atlanta, at that time, California was falling off. New York had fell off. Mm-hmm. And, 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 uh, and, and Atlanta was the mecca for hip-hop. So right. everybody was trying to sound like Atlanta. So, I mean, mm-hmm. it was a trip for me. I understood it. I didn't like it. But I understood yeah. it. So right, right. who who do you want to work with, man? I mean, you, 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 put, you put your smash down. You got a great album. You got great material. Who do you want to, to feature... And your next project? That's a tough question, man. Um, for different reasons, I guess. It, I mean, for the album overall, I guess I can touch on that because I have, you know, I have different artists for different reasons. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I have, I have like, you know, because me, I still like the authenticity of like hip hop, like actually spin rhymes and, you know, having some substance behind what you're talking about. So. If it was like if I was to choose something like that, then of course I would I would want to do something with like the Kendricks, the J. Cole's, right. uh, Dave East. Okay. Dave East is pretty dope out of New York. Okay. Um, you know, but if, if we if we're talking about like, you know, the the a lot of like the uh the stuff that's being played that's getting the most shine on right now, uh, mm. I would you know, Lil Baby and mm. but I, I you know, I, I actually like my favorite collabs are with singers. Okay. Wow. I really enjoy working with singers. Can you really, say? really enjoy working with singers. I can't. Okay, but you can rhyme. Now. I have singers in my I have singers in my family though. Um, my uh, you know, I'm related to um. I don't know if you if you're familiar with Fifth Dimension. Yeah. Like the 60s and 70s. Yeah. So my my cousin is uh, Lamont Macklemore. Aquarius. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. So he that the main singer pretty much was he, that's my cousin, and then uh, I also have a cousin named Jessica Jarrell. She's pretty pretty uh big on the scene too. She was uh with uh Justin Bieber like on his first world tour, the main singer on there and all that. So. I got, I got it. Like I'm probably like me myself and probably my father, probably the only ones that that don't know how to sing in the family. Mm. You know, like even my grandmother's in the choir. You know what I'm saying? Like wow. <laughs> everybody <laughs> sings. So you know, um, but it just you know, singing does something different to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like the rap, like rap is cool. I love it. I'm, a, I'm, I'm a fan of hip hop. But as far as like collabing wise, I feel like you know, as a rapper, it's kind of like, well, I, I can already do that. Mm-hmm. Right, right. I got you. You okay. know, and um. That's why, like, even this album, Clarity, I um, 
I didn't pick any rappers, any features for my album on purpose, you know, because I've done so many songs with so many different people and I really want people to really, really tune tune in and really uh, find that 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 ear for for me, for my music, you know what I'm saying, for my sound. And um, I, I felt like uh, not putting any features on this album would, would help, you know, in doing that um, as far as with the rappers. But I do have a couple singers on there. OK. Now, what have you learned from back in the day that you brought to your album? today what scale what Man. what what single what what did you the part of gumbo was in hip-hop what did you bring back from that to bring into your album it's really uh focusing on having something to talk about you know what i'm saying substance like you know that's really to me that's that's timeless music mm. you know um when people when you when you're when you're creating music that people can relate to Right. That, you know, they feel that in here, you know, saying emotionally, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so that's that's really what that's really what I want, what I want to get across in this album that um, I felt like I wasn't able to in these past few years is putting out singles. OK. You know, um, so the motive yeah, behind the album was really just, you know, um, uh, 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 not being so focused on making a hit. OK. Or not being so focused. And whether and I'm not even saying like making a hit for the radio, you know what I'm saying. But even whether it's making a hit for the hood, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. but you know whatever whatever the motive was, it, I didn't go into this album to try to please anybody but myself. Okay, okay. You know, and 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 I really believe, I honestly believe, anybody that's heard my music that was part of the journey, or you know, if anyone when people listen to this interview and they uh, want to go back and really listen to like my old stuff. Yeah, like everything will make so much sense when this album comes out. It's gonna you're gonna you're gonna hear a big difference. Okay. Still so keeping true to who I am, still being me, but you know. Okay. So when do when do you start think about putting the album out? Uh, when can we look for it? Uh, it's coming out January fifth. Oh, it's around the corner. Yeah, it's right around the corner. Yeah. It's right around yeah. the corner. Okay. Okay. It's right around the corner. And it's gonna so, be on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? You name it. iTunes, Spotify. Okay. All that. I'm dropping visuals to it. You know, I've already got two visuals out to it already. Okay. Um, my single, my single is uh, "Sacrifice." Got you. You know, so I, I'll shoot you that link. I don't know if you see yeah. it or not, but I'll shoot you the link. Yeah, um, but the whole, you know, the plan is, man, to have a visual for each each uh, song on the album. Smart move, smart move. So, what would you tell an up and coming artist um, that that sees this interview and he wants to or she wants to get into this rap game? What would what would you tell a, you know, a younger artist who's trying, just not starting out, who's trying to think about getting to it professionally in the all in? What would you tell? Them? My favorite choice of words for, for a question like this really is uh, consistency. Mm. You know, consistency is the key to success. Okay. You know, because everybody, you know, there really is no no handwritten, you know, there's really no way of like saying like, this is what's going to get you where you need to be. I'm a prime example of that. You know, so I've been doing this for a very long time. Mm. And, um, I, you know, I feel like I should be further on in this, you know, in this game, but I'm not. But doesn't mean that I'm going to stop neither or slow down, you know what I'm saying? Because the hunger is still there. And um, it's just consistency, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't wait to put some music out, put all that shit out. You know, a lot of people <laughs> always saying, oh, I'm, I'm working on this, I'm working on that. That's that's one thing that always, like, I never wanted to sound like was to sound like an artist that's, that, oh, I'm working on something. Like, yeah, you're working on something, what you got out? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. just holding, oh, I'm holding off to the, I'm holding off on this song for right now. I'm going to put it out for what? Mm -hmm. Times change, you know what I'm saying? Like, put that shit out now. Yeah, because you never know. You know, build that fan base, and you got to build that fan base. Yeah, that's you know true. What I'm saying you got to you got to start off somewhere. You know, you got to build that fan base. So man, yeah, consistency for sure, man. And that's with anything in life, you know. That's true, man. That's I mean, you you said it right there on the head on the head, man. Um, thank you, man, for this great interview, brother. Um, give out your Instagram and your website so people can follow you and check you out. And uh, we're gonna edit this video down, man, and put it out there too as well. It's probably being like three minute increments on every question that I asked you. So it'd be everywhere at all times. So, you know, give out your Twitter, Instagram, yes, so follow you, brother. Yeah. You know, um, my name's a little, a, lot, a few different ways of spelling it. Well, I have my way of spelling it, but people spell it different, wrong all the time. So I'm gonna spell it out, but it's K-A-Y-N-I-N-E-T-H-A-B-O-S-S. -S. -S. So if you just look that up on any social media site, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, uh, uh, Facebook, mm -hmm. you're gonna find me on there. Definitely make sure you uh, follow me on Spotify. 
you know, um, that's where, you know, you'll be able to uh, uh, check out the album as soon as it drops January 5th. That's what's and up. man, you know, and uh, I appreciate you having me, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was, yeah. uh, it was definitely a uh, definitely good time, man. You had some, some, some good questions, man. And, you know, I appreciate you taking the time and, and really, you know, diving into uh, my music and my journey and, you know, from here on out, you know what I'm saying? This is like, you know, you like family now, so shit. Man, whatever you need, brother, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's all good, yeah. all love. And, um, you know, for me to do interviews, I, I love it. I never did it to be famous. I just did it because I love to do it. Um, I I take my time with this stuff. I, I, you know, I, I Google you, you know what I'm saying? I go to YouTube, who so you talking about. Go down your Instagram, went to your Facebook. I went everywhere. I, I even check out other interviews you did. Um, Voice LA, hip hop, you know, world star. I did all that before I even said anything. My, 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 my guy, right. oh, hit him up, hit him up. Like, I, I, let me do my research first. I mean, right, I want to make right, him right, know right. that I'm the guy too. You know what I'm saying? So it's, well, it's, I'm honor hoping, I'm hoping this, I'm hoping in this interview amongst like my, a lot of my more recent interviews, I've uh, opened up a lot more than some of my older ones. You were clammed up earlier. You, you, you were like, mm, I mean, I don't know what he's going to ask, but yeah, then yeah. after I just, you know, we talked a little bit, like, okay, this is what it is. It's, yeah. it's, but, you know, that's 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 part of that's, that's part of clarity, man. You gross. know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm getting better and better at it every day, constantly working on it. Well, you're a master of ceremony anyway, so it's just what vision you want out. You know what I'm saying? You already doing, mm-hmm. the, doing the work. you got the clarity coming right. out. You, you push your music out there. you got the visuals out there. So it's nothing you can't do. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? So we, we support Jazz TV, man, you know, and whatever you need from us, promotion-wise, anything, let us know. Appreciate it, man. 100. Thank you, sir. Talk to you soon. Yes, sir.